why I'm so overexposed. Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Jadine. And if you guys are not new, then of course, welcome back. Today is Sunday. My battery is dying, but I'm cooking and I wanted to take you guys along through the process. Well, not really take you guys along because I've started cooking for a while and I just decided to pick the camera up when everything is almost done. But like I said, I'm gonna change this battery and I'm gonna come right back because obviously it's dying. Can't live. So for a minute there, I had to go and kind of like just get myself together. Hold on. It looks like there's something on the lens. Yeah, it looks so much better. So for a minute there, I had to leave and like just slightly get myself together. My table is full because I went to the grocery store yesterday and I spent $378. Really don't want to talk about it because I'm very upset. But it's the first time that I went to the grocery store in a month. So it's justifiable. All right. So on here, I have some um, cucumber. And I have some tomatoes. So I have my cucumber and my tomatoes. And over here I have the seasoning that's gonna go in my oxtail. If I didn't mention, I'm making oxtail. And this is what that looks like so far. So I'm the the um the heat is very low, so it could stay there and like cook. But can you see how like the juices are like coming through the middle and everything? So what I'm gonna do is I can actually do that on camera here flip it over and that's pretty much what you do with this either probably put enough water in there so it covers the meat so everything cooks evenly or you can just cook one side for a portion of time and then flip it over and of course cook the other side for a portion of time too until both sides are pretty much cooked and ready to go so I'm waiting on it to become very soft like pretty much cooked for before I like add my seasoning in and stuff like that so that's why that is on there still and let me show you guys my rice and peas so right now that is currently like pretty much drying out like cooking down and that is what that looks like let me show you guys the state of this table right now I have my fruits here these I got from Jody because I want to use them to make a banana bread because they're obviously overripe than these ones these ones are the new ones and you know i feel like i'm pretty much known for having like my table full of fruits because i absolutely love fruits and i like to have them all the time since i just mentioned jody yesterday she was over here and we were just chilling and like having some girl talk and like catching up and stuff which was really really good and really refreshing because i rarely ever have anybody over so it was really nice to have some decent company over and talk about things that actually make sense as opposed to like wasting time or whatever so like I showed you guys, I'm making rice and peas. If you guys are Caribbean, you know, and if not, you probably still know. Rice and peas, and I'm making oxtail too. Now, I have some butter beans that, um, I don't know if I want to add to it. I'm not really sure. I still have time to add it to it if I decide to do that, or I'm going to just make it on its own. My husband does not like beans and peas and all that stuff, so I might not add it to it because he doesn't like that stuff. And I already have peas in my rice and stuff. So that's a lot of peas to go around. But that's where we are, where the dinner is concerned. Everything is already prepped. I already have like the um the cabbage and the carrots shredded. And that's in the fridge with some white sugar on there. Just some granulated sugar on there. Just kind of chilling. And then I'm going to put these two containers with the cucumber and the tomatoes inside of the fridge too. So those could also be cool. I think we're going to have some Sprite today. If, if you're in a full circle Jamaican household, it would be some type of fruit juice. Like some carrot juice or some something fruity. and Well, not, that's carrot is not really a fruit. It's more like a vegetable. But some juice like that. You know, carrot juice or like cherry juice or just something of that nature. But um, I don't drink all that stuff. I don't never have like since I was growing up on whatever my mom always used to make it but I probably just drink water she used to call me a goat when I was younger just because when I eat I didn't really drink all those juices that she used to make beetroot and just all that stuff never liked it so um yeah we're gonna have some sprite with dinner but for the most part I'm gonna just watch this right now until it like cooks down I am sweating up a storm also 
since we're talking about sweating up a storm, I'm so proud of myself because I've been super consistent with my working out like I've been doing it now for nine days yesterday I missed because Jody was here and we were just chilling and everything like it wasn't really the vibe and we didn't even think about it to be honest it's after she left I'm just like damn we didn't work out today so this morning I made sure that I woke up early well I didn't really, really wake up early I woke up at like 10 o'clock but I was just like let me just get the workout in today because I didn't do it in so many days and I felt like without having Jody on the phone I've done so much more of the workouts like my body is so used to it I'm doing them almost all the way through and whatever and I think I'm gonna do it later again I had texted her and told her that I went ahead and did it this morning without her and so if she wants later on I can do it with her again and that is me just trying to catch up for trying to make up for not doing it yesterday so I don't know what she wants to do yet I'm gonna just have to wait and see so I worked out felt good got up showered and now I'm obviously making dinner I'm also waiting on like a package that was supposed to get here tomorrow. Nothing I love more than getting a remind, uh, getting like a notification that my package is out for delivery before the the expected delivery date. So I love that because it was supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So I'm very excited about that. This morning I went down and checked already because it said it was out for delivery since like 3 a.m. And right now it's almost 1 o'clock. So hopefully it gets delivered today and anytime soon. I'm going to check on it when I'm done. And it's a bigger package. So I want to make sure that I'm really on it because people really be trying me with my big ass packages. So I need to be down there to make sure that I get it. Because the last time I ordered something this big from Amazon, I didn't get it. And I'm not trying to play. Okay? So, yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm cooking. And all that, I just said. <laughs> I feel like once I start talking, I'm just talking up a storm. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chill and watch some TV while I check on the food alternately. Just to make sure that nothing burns. Because, of course, when you watch TV, you get distracted. Okay? So, we're going to do that. And I think I'll pop back in when everything is almost ready or when everything is ready just to show you guys how it all came together i was passing out about my package and look what came because earlier i'm just like i just went in the room and i'm just like let me just check to see what's up with this package because honestly the last time it was delivered and they either didn't say it at the same time or something so now i gotta keep checking on it and when i checked it said it was down there and i'm blazing downstairs like listen if i go down there and my package is not down there this whole neighborhood is gonna know me today because what is going on but it was down there so I'm very calm, very zen, and very happy. Now I'm going to take it apart and see what I can do. So guys, this is like a storage bench that you put... Oh in front of like the bed or like this area i love that these parts are already together because i thought i'd have to like screw the hinges in and whatever but obviously i don't so i'm very happy i think these are the legs this is the thing that you're supposed to throw away and keep out of reach of kids because they will eat it oh my gosh i love this oh, jesus christ my happy so let's just sit on here because you're supposed to be able to sit on there too where did i put over here so yeah i have some little knickknacks that i have in like some smaller storage bins like this small that i bought from like five and below that are weak as hell so i'm gonna bring those here too and show you guys so um these are the legs i thought the legs would have been higher to be honest what the hell was that but obviously the legs are also things that you can um, change. So you can buy legs that are higher. Jesus, I'm also cooking. I can't be playing around right now because I'm not trying to pot up. Feel me? Okay, here's the other one. So these are the four legs. So dope. maybe I could put it here too but I'd have to like push some of it behind the couch but I feel like the colors are a little bit different so we don't really know we're gonna do 
if I had this couch on the side here, then I could put this in the middle there and it would be fine. But these couches are too big, so we're not going to do all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to store my little knickknacks because God knows I have a lot of those. So we're coming back. Damn, this vlog is probably going to be long as hell because I like the talking. So these are what I'm saying that I have. These two. And I have like the most miscellaneous shit inside of these boxes. So I just figured I could just get one. And this is like four times one of this. So that's dope. So I figured I could just get one and like assemble all the stuff I want to keep inside of it. And whatever I'm not keeping could go. else is pretty much trash and this has been 13 minutes so we're gonna go do that off camera so guys this is what dinner looks like everything is all done and this looks so good like I'm so ready to dig in right now and I have the plate with the tomatoes right here and the um cucumber because I'm gonna have a lot of that okay but that is pretty much it let me come back Oh, that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.